Hello everyone and welcome to This is South Asia and here's the Maldives. Now let's go, shall we? Peeking up from the waves under India sits over a thousand coral islands that we know as the Maldives. Sun bright atolls of colorful fish, lagoons, coconut palms, bananas and breadfruit trees. There's no solid evidence concerning when the Maldives was first inhabited and where its ancient settlers originated. Though what is certain is that the Maldivian language is very closely related to Sinhala, the language of the Sinhalese people of Sri Lanka. Centuries of Buddhism followed until the 1100s when the king adopted Islam and this religion came to be the dominant faith on the islands. In the 1340s, the Muslim traveler Ibn Battuta visited the Maldives where he involved himself in enforcing stricter laws such as whipping people for not showing up for Friday prayers. But he was unsuccessful in trying to get the women to wear more clothes and left a few months later. In those days, the Maldives' principal export were cowrie shells used as currency in some places and coir, the fibers of coconut husks used used as ropes for rigging. In the 1500s, the Portuguese briefly assumed control before being driven out. In the late 1700s, the British took the islands and made them a protectorate of their empire. So the years swam by and not a great deal happened, though in 1958, three islands broke away to form their own state. But the prime minister was not having that and punished them brutally. In 1965, the Maldives gained its independence. Over the years, improvements were steadily made and tourism became a vital industry for the economy. In 2004, there was a deadly tsunami. In 2009, the president held an underwater cabinet meeting. Wait, what? And today, the Maldives has a high level of human development, and you can easily see why so many people want to visit, can't you? Anyway, that's it for the Maldives, and that's all from me for now. Bye-bye!